Hi, Wally from Pioneer Plastics and today I'm at the Parktown house where we've done that CakeNet, the DSTV program EcoStale and I'm going to show you the final conversion you need to do on your LPG oven to be able to successfully utilize your biogas. There's basically two conversions you need to do and that's change the nozzle from an LPG nozzle to a natural gas nozzle and then secondly is to block off the airflow so that you don't have oxygen interfering with that flame because the biogas flame wants to burn on its own it needs no additional oxygen in essence there's two things to remember with with the biogas number one at the moment the South African industry is not regulating the biogas as such so we revert back to the LPG standards there's existing Sun standards South African national standards on LPG gas connection and any certified gas um, company can do that installation for you. What we've done here is we've used the Ginder pipe. Ginder is an imported pipe and it's got a polymer liner on the inside, ideal for your biogas um, uh, installation. Because the biogas is very corrosive, you can't just use normal copper pipe for that installation. So Ginder sponsored this program and they've installed the gas line for us according to those sun standards and it's an SABS approved pipe as well. Also, the second thing to consider with biogas is that similar with the solar system, you always need a backup. Now through these plates, once you've done the conversion, you can't do LPG gas again through these plates. So we recommend you either have an electrical oven backup or gas oven backup so you've got your biogas system and your LPG or electrical system in, in next to it so that you can do your main cooking on the biogas and then your backup cooking if for whatever reason there's not enough gas generated or it wasn't given enough organic material then you do then have your backup gas cooking whether it's LPG or electrical cooking with a normal electrical oven so let's get into the nitty-gritty I'm going to show you quickly the nozzle, what we've done, and how we've done that uh, conversion. So, looking at this oven, if you take off the top piece, the nozzle basically has a covering plate which spreads the flame. So, if you remove that and it's a loose fitting plate, then you've got your main nozzle. Now, what we've done is, that's how the nozzle would look on its own, um, as it's fitted as an LPG um, a gas oven. Inside is the actual nozzle that we've changed to the natural gas. So that little nozzle is changed to a natural gas nozzle, a one, a one millimeter um, hole size. And then what we did is we installed this little uh, brass pipe to cut off that airflow coming into the sides. Because with LPG you've got all the gas flowing in on the side of it. So all we did is we installed this little brass pipe which then basically lets the, the biogas flow straight through to that point where it's burning. This is an electrical thermostat, an electronic thermostat that picks up the heat and it's a safety mechanism so that when there's no heat it automatically cuts off the gas and that's our ignition switch. So we'll show you now how we're going to start off this oven by starting the, the ignition switch and then utilizing that gas flame. Just want to show you the other nozzle. We did exactly a similar connection where, again, if you look at that um, uh, top piece, we've taken that and we did the little um, uh, pipe to cut off that airflow. And you can see there, it's rounded so that it gets that airflow straight through into your nozzle. And then we've changed the nozzle as well. And to show you quickly the nozzle, that's the nozzle in there. It's that little nozzle that was converted from an LPG nozzle to a natural gas nozzle and the same on this side. The little uh, brass nozzle there, that's now got a one millimeter hole size natural gas and not LPG half a millimeter anymore. And then you'll see if we insert that little pipe, there we go, it basically seals off that whole passage that you get clean pure biogas coming through that toll size and that then enables you to do the successful cooking on the oven. So let me start up the nozzles and show you the flame quickly. So now the proof is in the pudding. The gas is connected, the, the tap is open at the tank um, and this unit has now been going for about eight weeks producing gas quite successfully. 
um, we flushed out the gas line so it's um, all the oxygen is out it's biogas in there so let's just see what happens now you can hear there's the electronic ignition um, as what you would find on an LPG oven and let's see just exactly how easy it does ignite There the plate is on, it's burning, take a piece of paper, and there we go, there's our biogas flame, and it's nice and hot, switch this one off, let's do the first one, there's our flame ignited, Nice and hot. And there she go. Perfect. The biogas working as what it was designed for. And as you can see how simple that conversion is to do that on an LPG oven. Again, just to close off, please make sure that you always do it as per gas legislation because it is a flammable gas and there's a risk involved. And all that remains is happy cooking.